Laptops are incredible. They're portable, they're powerful, but there's one major limitation that a lot of us don't even think about. And a single accessory that not only fixes it, but makes it feel like an entirely new device. At first, I rejected the idea of a tri screen. It seemed like too many extra steps for something I wouldn't even really use. But let's think about the use cases for a moment. Seeing every screen for music production or video editing or a vertical camera monitor while you see your script. We're gonna cover all of these and more really creative ideas in depth, including gaming and work and productivity. But first, let's talk about the hardware and what we're actually looking at. This is the FavPizda tri-screen. And yes, thanks for noticing, they are ridiculous in the best possible way. Each monitor is 14.1 inches, the same as a modern day MacBook Pro. They've got a 16 by 10 viewing ratio. They are both full HD with a 60 Hertz refresh rate and each monitor can be horizontal or vertical and used separately or together. And you can forget about HDMIs and power sources because they work with just a fully loaded USB-C port. That's one cable for each monitor. That's crazy. The housing is plastic, but really solid. There's a locking kickstand in the back, which protects your monitor from having to bear the weight of these. And the monitors twist in and out and up and down however you need them to be, which creates some interesting combinations. Now, this is a lot to take in, but there are multiple modes. There's also something called triangle mode and dual mode where your screen is showing on both sides. And we can use this in some really creative ways. In the world of video editing, you have to fit everything on one screen, your timeline, your actual video monitor, your sliders, and even on a large screen like this, it's better, but they're all sharing the same space. And with something like this, you can have everything in its own screen, a huge view of your video, the sliders and effects on one screen and a whole screen just for editing the timeline, which means gone are the days of scrolling vertically if you have a bunch of clips or effects. That is the bane of my existence. The exact same is true for music production, where everything typically shares a screen and pops up in Windows. Now you can have your whole project on one screen, your mixer on another screen, and all of your effects and instruments on the third. In the wonderful world of gaming, these provide a whole lot of options. You can have your game on your main monitor, and then a guide or a Discord chat, or even OBS or YouTube Live if you live stream, on the third one. They also work as individual monitors for consoles, which means that you can plug into one, a friend can plug into another, and you've got two monitors for the price of one. Or you can run two or three instances of a single game using software, virtual machines, and everybody can play on their own full screen. Now, really unique is this thing we talked about called triangle mode. And this, I think, is a whole new way to approach games, whether video games or tabletop games, or you can all watch a movie actually facing each other, which is really interesting, and I think fosters more community when doing something on a screen. Even for tabletop games like Dungeons & Dragons, which I've never played in my life but my wife likes, you can show everybody something different on the screen if you're in a party of three. Now, if you teach online, like I do with instruments, this gets really handy. You can have yourself and different camera angles on one screen, your student on another, and then lesson notes or tabs or sheet music on the third screen. Music lessons are one of the key places where I have to be switching around tabs or books and camera angles, and having them all laid out on three different screens makes the entire process a lot easier and less stressful for me and so more fluid for the student. Now, I am a musician and a product photographer, but once upon a time, I did spend two semesters in a college for computer science. Thank you very much. I clearly did wonderfully. But I learned enough to know that vertical monitors are incredible if you're coding 
and you want to be able to see a whole bunch of lines of code in the terminal. You can even use one as a monitor for your camera. Sony has fantastic monitoring software and still have your script up and a bunch of research tabs. And the really cool thing is that since these can go in any orientation, you can do this for horizontal video like this or vertical video monitoring for shorts. Now, incredibly practically, just for work, switching between screens goes away when you have the ability to see a calendar or Excel and your emails all at the same time, or Slack or messaging and Microsoft Teams and Zoom, it all gets its own space. Now, where this gets crazy is when we start thinking about splitting a screen, where each screen gets half the space, but nothing's overlapping. You could have six things open at once, which means that you probably never have to change screens again at work. Academics are not left out either. One screen for lectures, one screen for notes, one screen for research tabs. You can put together your paper in a third of the time, which means homework and school is done. Finally, and extremely uniquely, these monitors can act independently. It's whatever you plug them into that matters. So you could have multiple devices in front of you, your laptop in the middle, a game system or whole different computer on the left and your phone with something like Samsung DeX on the right. Every device in the world, no matter how cool it is, has downsides or cons. This is no different. So there are three minor bits of baggage that it comes with. First one is that it's going to take more battery. So if you don't have a way to plug in, it's going to take up your laptop battery a lot quicker. You can see a comparison on the screen of just how many watts it's pulling when it is plugged in without the monitors and with the monitors. Second downside is that it doesn't come with a carrying case. The screens fold in so that they don't scratch, but there's not a nice case that's going to keep them safe. It's just itself keeps itself safe. Now, if you tuck it into a bag, that's not a big deal, but that is our third problem, which is it's one more thing to carry. The nice thing about laptops is you put them in your bag and you're done. And now it's you put it in your bag and put your monitors in the bag and the two extra cables and you're done. Now, if this is really truly helpful, that's not a big deal and takes probably an extra 30 to 60 seconds to set up if that, but it is a consideration. So if you're a laptop owner, is this whole tri-screen setup worth it? Well, I think immediately worth it. If you do any sort of creation in music or video, it can definitely be worth it if you're interested in playing around with intaking media, like watching movies or playing games in a whole new way. And you can think of unlimited setups for these screens. I think definitely worth it for work. You may not hate switching between screens all day, but I absolutely do. I want most things to be full screen. And so I am constantly going back and forth and this solves that three times over. Now for any of those, it's worth it, but it doesn't just do one of those. You don't have to pick. It does all three of those and more really well. So if you have a laptop, and you want to completely change how you use it, this is a phenomenal addition. It costs less than a laptop. It transforms your machine, changes the way that you work and create and play. Really well done to Fav Pista. I'm glad I have one. You should grab one too, seriously. It's pretty cool.